Hello to all my beautiful knights and queens of the world. You already know who it is. It's Mr. Who? Mr. Royal Diamond, a.k.a. Mr. Nevis, coming back at you with another what? Phenomenal video. So basically, my topic is going to be about we have more than enough, you know, and I just feel like it's such a big thing as well because I feel like a lot of people feel like they have to do so much and work so hard and, and do the most and, you know, um, work until their bone dry because they feel like if they, they don't have enough, you know what I'm saying? Like, I understand, like, um, a realistic look of not having enough depending on what that is, but sometimes I feel like you have, understand the difference between, like, I guess the gratitude behind it, you know, because when you're grateful for what you have, that will feel more than enough for you. But when you feel like, you um you don't have enough you know what i'm saying even though you have enough then it causes you to become stressed it becomes a help a, a big help um what you call that it makes you feel like you're stressed it makes you feel like you have to go out there and work four different jobs and do the most and always on this endless um cycle of the you know this cycle of like i don't have enough and you know what i'm saying and you end up doing all this crazy things because you feel like you don't have enough and i just want to i'm just here to let you know that we have more than enough time we have more than enough energy we have more than enough abundance and all these incredible things and resources you know why because god supplied those things for you god supplied those things for us for the world for the universe that's why things exist the way that they do and they keep everlasting you know what i'm saying that's why they, that's why just like how the stars you know how some some of them just burn out and they fall that's what you call a shooting star you know but if there wasn't more than enough you know what I'm saying? Then we would that it wouldn't be as bright. It would be like more more dark. You get what I'm saying? So that's what I mean. Sometimes you really have to just step back and be like count your blessings, and then you will realize God will give you like the the eyes to see and the wisdom under the wisdom and understanding that you have more than enough in Him. You know, there's more. He He supplies all our, all our needs. Not just that, but supply them in abundance. That you will have more than enough. That you will overflow. That you're, that you 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 have so much that you will give to others. You get what I'm saying? You will become a lend. You become. You won't be a borrower, but you'll be a lender. And the Bible speaks about this. You know what I'm saying? But you have to align yourself with God and all these things. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just here to let you know that you don't have to stress or worry. Feel like you have to keep kind of in that in that chaotic mindset that you have to dry you know work yourself to your you know bone dry when you don't have to you know what i'm saying you just have to pray about it and then wait patiently until he blesses you with what you're praying for you know what i'm saying so that's what i mean about um we have more than enough in god so that's what i mean and what you call that um I'm just trying to, you know, get my thoughts together. But yeah, you know, I just feel like it's so true because I remember a point in, a point in my life I felt like I didn't have enough time, you know, and that caused me to like rush through everything and made me feel stressed and worn out. But then when God gave me that, that peace, that wisdom and understanding of looking like you don't have to rush to, to get things done. You don't have to rush to go to work. You don't have to rush to come home. You don't have to rush to do all these things when you have more than enough time. It's like when you work out of like stress and scarcity, everything feels like it's overbearing. You know what I'm saying? It feels like it's, it's like this big giant that it's like you can't fight on your own. You know, but when you really sit back and be like, why are you rushing? Like what, what like what, 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 why, why are you, I mean, it's like, what are you, that tongue twister, why are you rushing? if you don't have nothing important to get done you get what i'm saying and even when you have something important to get done you make sure you prepare yourself for that ahead of time so you don't feel like you have to rush to get it done you get what i'm saying so when god blessed me with that peace and understanding of just like he got the time and everything under control in his, in his hands and stuff like that then you don't have to worry so much about that you know what i'm saying so that's what i mean about there's more than enough for you and me and everybody in the world there's, there's no need to really believe that we're running short you know, they were running out. It's impossible. The God, the God who created everything, he said everything will be plentiful for those who have faith in him. You will prosper. What you do will prosper. You get what I'm saying? God's children, those who follow God, who believe in God and are everlasting. This is why he said he is the way, he is the truth, he is the light, he is everything. You know, without him, you will perish. You get what I'm saying? And I know sometimes people may take that like, oh my God. You know, but I mean, like, but when you begin to understand God more and more by His amazing grace, you begin to understand you don't have to worry and stress. And me speaking about this just kind of gave me my own epiphany about a certain thing in my life. You know what I'm saying? Which is true. And, um, you know, there's no need to do so much when God supply all that. Sometimes God just wants you to trust Him that He will supply your need. 
you know, and that's that takes you know trust, building that trust with God, your relationship with Him, confiding in Him, having that um sure conviction that He will do above and above and above and exceedingly things for you because He loves you and you are His child. You know what I'm saying? So remember this: like when you start your day every day, tell yourself, "I don't have to rush. I don't have to stress myself out. I don't have to worry. I ha I just have to plan accordingly the things." the tasks that are most important to get done and if you can delegate other things to like other family members or whatever the case may be like in your household to make everything more easier for you then by all means you don't have to be superman and superwoman thinking you have to do absolutely everything because you're just going to run yourself down to the ground you get what i'm saying you know and that's something that i learned the hard way it just felt like this endless cycle and it's just like what but why you know sometimes you you like in the midst of your chaos God will give you that epiphany moment, like, just wake up, you know, and you'll be like, oh, my God, all that time, you know, and then, but it helps you appreciate his miracles, his blessing, it, it, it empowers your testimony for other people to be like, listen, like, you don't have to live your life like you're running a rat race at, you know, like a dead end, you know what I'm saying? So this is what I mean, this is what I want to encourage you, you know, there's more than enough, there's more... There's just more time, more energy. That all that comes from God. God supplies that every day for you, even beforehand. You're gonna think He will supply the the people for your business. He will supply the wisdom for your understanding. He will supply the the healing for from for your pain. You get what I'm telling you? Like sometimes you may go through something that you thought was gonna wipe you out, but when you look back, it's like God kept you. You know what I'm saying? He holds you, so the blow wasn't as hard as it could have been if it wasn't for him you get what i'm saying so that's what i mean about this more than enough for of everything so don't ever feel like you, like you like what you call that like you need to do more or work more or do or do the most or whatever the case may be but you know just focus on your just focus on him like just trusting him talking to him calling upon him asking for strength and for provision and for providing and he will do that for you because he loves you but you have to open your heart and be very honest and genuine with him you get what i'm saying sometimes people have more than enough and they feel like they don't because they haven't taken time to be grateful for what they have you know if you don't become grateful for what you have you would you want you won't have that anymore in your life you get what i'm saying you have to appreciate what you have in order in order for you to really um comprehend What's, what's, what's in your hand You know what I'm saying What God gave you already You know what I'm saying It helps you to receive more When you understand like that um, That gratitude You know what I'm saying that, that, that spirit of gratitude Like really being like Wow Like thank you so much Because Like that was just crazy You know what I'm saying So that's what I mean So remember There's more than enough For you, me, everybody In the world Just call upon God And he would Show up and show out In your life And never Never walk like a, a poor mentality. Walk in an abundance mentality. There's more than enough for you. God will show up and show up. Walk in your confidence and your faith in Him. And He will do above and exceedingly things for you and yours. And I, like I said, on my videos, I love you. God bless you. I thank you. Comment, like, and subscribe. Until my next video, peace.